Hey guys, what's going on? Steven back again, and I'm back with part 9 of Hell's Reach by Richard Boylan. Here we go. He wants to watch too. I have a dead pixel. That sucks. I'm staring right at it. Hades Hive will not survive the first week. What is coming in system now far exceeds what has laid waste to the planet before. So something bigger is the coming? The hives must be reinforced a thousand times over. Hades will burn. Oh, little servo skull. I hope that's not too loud. Oh, damn, something's coming. That's no moon. Death corpse? No. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know, just going by the gas mask, it looks like death corpse. There they are. How may I be of service, the Plusiarch? We have defensive positions in the wastelands manned by the Steel Legion. Yes. 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 I was informed today exactly what is stored in the underground hangar of the B-16 West Outpost, 98 kilometers to the northwest of the city. None of our briefings mentioned it was a sealed Mechanicus facility. Do you know your history, Adjutant Tyro? I have studied several of the decisive battles of the First War. Then you will know what Mechanicus weapon was designed and first deployed here. I don't think you can be right. Perhaps not. But I intend to learn the truth for myself. One of our gunships will carry a small group to D-16 West in one hour. But it's sealed. It will not be sealed for long. Not for long. It's Mechanicus territory. I do not care. If I am right in my suspicions, there is a weapon there. I want that weapon, Syria Tyro. And I, I want it. that weapon. You can't leave the city before dawn. The enemy... The enemy will not break the city walls in the first day. And Bayard, Emperor's Champion of the Hell's Reach Crusade, will come yes. out Templars in my absence. Emperor's Champion. I can't allow you to do this. It will enrage the Mechanicus. I am not asking for your permission, Adjutant. I am asking if you wish to come with us. Do you want to join us? Ship is leaving now. Make your choice. So cool seeing the Emperor's Champion. Try not to get a shot down. Brother, does anyone ever laugh at your jokes? Humans sometimes do. 
humans sometimes do. Oh, hell yeah. My princess. Hello, Valiant. My princess, the adepts of the soul are reporting discontent within Storm Herald's heart. We are getting anomalous readings of ill temper from the reactor core. We are angry, Matarati. We yearn to bring the thunder down upon our foes. That is understandable, my princeps. You are operating at peak capacity. You are sanguine? I am querying if I am at risk. Being consumed by Storm Herald's heart. Maintenance adept, attend to the princeps vocalizer unit. I trust you, my princeps. Forgive me for troubling you. Your concern touches me, Valiant. We will see battle soon, Valiant. Ronaldus has promised it to us. We are all ready, my princeps. Locked and loaded. Uh, Andre? What is it now, eh? I'm busy, okay? Is that a gunship? What are you talking about, eh? That. That big ship flying by? This is Damasca at Boundary 3. Contact, contact, contact. Imperial gunship inbound. That is the Black Templars, yes? They are from Hell's Reach. I know this. I, I listen to my briefings. I do not sleep like you. This can't be good. <laughs> I do not I do sleep not agree, like you, you do. Know, this is a Statis business. It will be good. Good for us. Bad for the enemy. What? It will be good. You'll see, eh? I'm always right. I'm always right. Should we, uh, salute? Is that what you're supposed to do? I don't know. Just stand at attention. Captain, I'm Adjutant Quintus Tyro, seconded to Hive Hell's Reach from the Lord General's command staff. With me are Reclusiarch Grimaldus and Master of the Forge Jurisian of the Black Templars chapter. Greetings. We've come to enter Greetings. the installation. Forgive me. Is this a joke? Far from it. Yeah, this is no joke. There is no power here. They left this place entirely devoid of energy. No. There is power. The installation sleeps but does not lie dead. I like this voice. It is voice. locked in hibernation. Power still beats through its veins. The resonance is low. The pulse is slow. I hear it nevertheless. Can you open these doors? Can you get us down into the complex? It will necessitate a great deal of rerouting power from auxiliary sources. And those will be difficult to reach from a remote connection point here. A parasitic feed is required. Jurisian. Answer the question. Forgive me, Reclusion. A simple yes and no will work. Yes. I will need one hour. Digging I love for the detail in the, the guards, sand, yes? well, That is not going to make the mechanicus smile, I think. I really like the detail on the guardsmen. You know, even seeing the like the insignias and stuff like that's really cool. waking up <laughs> that 
just looks so cool. I like those shots with the light and everything. This is a magnetic field stabilizer housing. What does it do? It houses the stabilizers for a magnetic field generator. He's ready to go. Oberon? That's right. This is it. It is so beautiful. <laughs> what are you guys talking it about? Is magnificent. This would okay, calm yourself there. Bombardment. It is void shielded, armored like no bunker I have ever seen, and sealed with with a billion or more individual codes. Can you do it? I have never witnessed anything so complex and incredible. It would be like mapping every particle within a star. Can you do it? Once again, a simple yes, yes and no. Yuziak, but it will take between nine and eleven days. I don't believe it. It can't Damn. be here. It is. This is where the Mechanicus hid the Ordinatus Armageddon after the First War. This is the tomb of Oberon. Nine and eleven days. We're about to speak. And the old man's predictions were correct, as you suspected. Oh, there we go. The enemy is champion. annihilating Hades High from orbit. It is crudely done. Standard bombardment with mass drivers to hurl asteroids into the defenseless city. A dark day's work, brother. Will you return soon? We Chop him up with the sword. Uh-oh, incoming. Oh shit. Shockwave from the impact. Oh shit. Might want to run. Alright, well there we go. Throw him into cover. Ooh. Yarrick was right. Hades is burning. Brace yourself, brothers! Oh. Uh oh. Nice save. Oh, there's 
still going down hard. And he saves the guardsmen. seeing the come down and whoosh, before taking off scorching a few orcs that was awesome oh there's more So what exactly was it that crashed into the planet? Was it just like an asteroid or uh, the thing at the beginning here? You know, was it just this that crashed into the planet? I'm guessing it probably was. But, uh, yeah, that is uh, that was awesome. Yeah, the Titans moving. They're ready for battle. They're locked and loaded. Uh, the Emperor's Champion looks absolutely awesome. I mean, look at the halo. Look at all the details and everything like that. It just looks awesome. I really want to see him slice and dice something. You know, just bust out the sword and just go to town. Hack him up. I know he's Dark Angels, but they don't make a Black Templar pop. They only make um, Ultramarines, Blood Angels, Dark Angels, and Space Wolves. That's all they make for pops. I'm actually kind of surprised they actually make 40k pops. You know, usually they make pops for, um, you know, things like TV shows and movies and all sorts of other things, you know, but 40k doesn't really have, like, any TV show or movie or anything like that coming out. But either way, it was still uh, really cool that they made some 40k pops. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, the Emperor's Champion, I want to see him in action. Uh, like I said, I want to see him slice and dice some orcs uh, and then of course we got this thing here crashing in I did like seeing the tank columns and stuff like that or the the row of tanks super cool super cool I like seeing the tanks coming in uh, and then of course the uh, the impact there and then seeing um you know the blast wave the shock wave whatever you whatever you want to call it uh, and then seeing you know the thunderhawk getting hit from it as well and you know knocking the poor guardsman out which he saves which was pretty cool i believe uh i was watching some videos and stuff like that that you know some space marine chapters have different feelings towards guardsmen you know i guess some think Oh, they're just nothing but like meat shields and whatever and other chapters you know have like respect for them and you know hey here you are with like a shitty gun and you know like a little bullet 
professed, if you will, you know, when you're braving the front lines and here we are, Space Marines, you know, fully decked out in like the greatest armor and, you know, impressive weaponry and stuff like that, you know. So it was still pretty cool, uh, you know, seeing him save her and pull her back in. Not today, guardsman. I got gotcha. you. So that was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, there we go. There's part nine. That was awesome. Can't wait to see what happens next. Uh, so anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. That'd be awesome. Remember, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description box below. And of course, leave me your thoughts and comments. Um, what was it that impacted the planet? Was it that, like, asteroid thing, or was it something else? I think it was still that asteroid thing. Um, uh, what else? Uh, let me know your thoughts about, you know, relationship with the Black Templars and the Imperial Guardsmen, you know, because I don't know the actual, like, lore, you know, of it. Do the Black Templars actually, like, respect the Guardsmen, or are they just kind of like, whatever? You know, I'll save her because, well, you know, she's, like, important or we need her for some sort of reason. So it's kind of, like, a beneficial thing. Like, oh, well, you know, if it was, like, anybody else, it'd just be like, oh, whatever, you know. So let me know what the uh, relationship is between the uh, Black Templar, Black Templars and the uh, Guardsmen alike. So, you know, kind of curious to see what relationship is with the uh, Chapters and Guardsmen and stuff like that. Uh, and, um... What else? Other than that, uh, you know, just stick around. I can't wait to do part 10. I think there's only, what, 13 parts? So it's almost over. It's almost the end. What, three more parts and then it's done and then I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyways, other than that, stick around. More videos are on the way. And we'll see you guys next time.